and the base notes are Madagascar Vanilla, Musk, Cedar, and Amber Grace. I don't know if that is, but I'm gonna assume it's just like Amber. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a bit of a different video today. I'm actually gonna be talking about something that was a relatively new discovery to me. I don't know if this is like super common knowledge within the community, but like I personally had no idea and was very, you know, intrigued when I kind of learned more about this. Today, we are gonna be talking about ambergris. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you are, not new. Thank you for being here and make sure that you are subscribed. You know what I mean? You might have noticed that some of your fragrance have this note called ambergris, which in a previous video, I literally didn't know what it was. So I pronounced it ambergris. I think that's like a very like Americanized, like white way of saying this, but like it originates from France and it's like properly pronounced as ambergris. But this note, ambergris, is actually whale vomit. How ambergris is formed is that it comes from sperm whales. In the abdomen of sperm whales, they have this chemical called amberin. This basically helps them digest their food. So then like the sharper parts of their prey that is like very difficult to digest, like the beaks of like squids, the amberin protects their internal organs. So typically before the digestion process actually occurs, the whales just like throw up everything that they can't digest. But sometimes on a rare occasion, the indigestible parts actually bind together and the amberin combines with that to form a solid mass which we now know today as ambergris. After many years the sperm whale you know has that like mass growing inside of them and they eventually throw it up and then so it kind of just floats in the ocean. Keep in mind that this is like super super rare which is why ambergris is so valuable because the process in itself is already very rare and also like there aren't that many sperm whales. So ambergris has always been a very highly sought after material in Moby Dick by Herman Melville, which was written in 1851. There's a line in the book where he describes the corpse of a whale smelling like a faint stream of perfume. Even in kind of like classic literature, you know, ambergris kind of like referenced. And so eventually people started to use ambergris in fragrances because of a few reasons. First of all, it helped to make scents last longer, which is why they started adding them to fragrances. Ambergris itself also has a very unique scent. When ambergris is first produced, so like when the sperm whale first throws it up, it smells like fecal matter. So quite literally, it smells like poop. At this stage, ambergris is not very valuable because it is literally just vomit. But when it begins to age, it hardens and kind of develops this very unique scent. Some people describe it as being humid, earthy, marine, tobacco-like, sandalwood-like, sweet, animalic, and musky. Other people also think it smells like old wood in church and also like Brazilian nuts. So while it starts off smelling very pungent and quite literally like fecal matter, it eventually dries down into this very, very musky scent that fragrance houses love using today. That is a little about the history of ambergris. I'm gonna be going over some very popular fragrances that also have ambergris as a note. So if you have smelled any of these or own any of them, then you have smelled whale vomit. So some of the fragrances that have ambergris as a note include Yves Saint Laurent L'Homme, Le Labo Another 13, Tom Ford Oud Mineral, the very famous Baccarat Rouge 540, and the one that I own where I discovered ambergris for the very first time, Libra by Yves Saint Laurent. So another thing that I want to point out is because ambergris is such a scarce material, obviously, it is very uncommon for fragrance houses to actually like put whale vomit into their perfumes today. So what people do now is they actually synthetically create ambergris. While there is a very, very small chance that a perfume you own actually contains whale vomit, perfumers and labs have added chemically and synthetically created whale vomit as a note in your perfume. But also, don't be, you know, daunted by that because, again, ambergris smells, you know, kind of sweet, earthy, musky, a little bit spicy, and it's a very, very pleasant smell to people, which is why it became so popularized. That is a little about ambergris. And for me personally, honestly, I don't think I've had enough experiences with fragrances that have it as a note, so I can't really tell you how it smells. But yeah, let me know if you guys have any fragrances with ambergris. I would really like to know how it smells to you. 
I hope you learned something new today because I know I definitely did. And thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope to see you all soon.